The director of the CIA, Leon Panetta, confirming in a letter that was obtained by Greg Sargent at the Washington Post that torture did not lead directly to the killing of Osama bin Laden. Mr. Panetta telling Senator John McCain in this letter, quote, we first learned about the facilitator slash courier's nom de guerre from a detainee not in CIA custody in 2002. It's also important to note that some detainees who were subjected to enhanced interrogation techniques attempted to provide false or misleading information about the facilitator slash career. Senator John McCain, again, the recipient of this letter from the CIA, Senator John McCain, who was himself tortured, who had information extracted from him by torture when he was held for five and a half years as a prisoner of war in Vietnam. Senator John McCain has taken it upon himself to debunk right-wing claims about torture leading to Osama bin Laden's death. Senator McCain giving an impassioned 20-minute speech on the Senate floor attempting to correct the record. Many advocates of these techniques have asserted their use on terrorists in our custody, particularly Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, revealed the trail to bin Laden. That is false. It was not torture or cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment of detainees that got us the major, the major leads that ultimately enabled our intelligence community to find Osama bin Laden. I hope former Attorney General McCasey will correct his misstatement. For anybody interested in dealing with fact when it comes to this debate, this, as a factual matter, is sort of settled. The question of whether torture, specifically waterboarding, was the thing that led to Osama bin Laden's death, it's one of those things Donald Rumsfeld used to call a known known. Whatever hypothetical debate you want to have about torture, about whether you like President Bush or President Obama better, and their approach to prisoners and, and, and the law and interrogation, this is not a hypothetical. This is a knowable and known thing. Torture didn't lead to bin Laden. But with Republican presidential candidates starting to jockey for position, desperate to press any advantage over President Obama, the fact that the torture led to bin Laden Fox News hypothesis has been debunked, unquestionably debunked, is not stopping the assertion on the right for political gain. And that today has made something amazing happen. That has led one Republican presidential contender, a former Republican senator, to do something that he I, I have to believe, I have to believe he must regret. It is not possible that he does not regret this. It is not possible that he will not apologize for having done this. As a Princess Bride fan, I use this word with reservations, but it is inconceivable to me that this particular Republican presidential candidate will not take this back. Did you hear about what Rick Santorum has done? Presidential candidate Rick Santorum, speaking to conservative talk radio host Hugh Hewitt, said this of John McCain's views on torture as they relate to Osama bin Laden. Quote, he doesn't understand how enhanced interrogation works. I mean, you break somebody and after they're broken, they become cooperative. And that's when we got this information. And one thing led to another and led to another. And that's how we ended up with bin Laden. A, not true. B, what? Quoting again from this interview, Hugh Hewitt says, your former colleague John McCain said, look, there's no record, there's no evidence here that these methods actually led to the capture or the killing of bin Laden. Do you think he's got an argument? Rick Santorum, I don't. He doesn't understand how enhanced interrogation works. Rick Santorum says John McCain does not understand torture the way that Rick Santorum does. We called Rick Santorum's campaign tonight mostly because I felt dumb, like I, I'd missed something. Clearly the apology must have been posted somewhere and I just couldn't find it. I mean, granted it is hard to Google anything about Rick Santorum, particularly from your work computer. So but we, we called Rick Santorum's campaign fully expecting to be directed to what must have been his apology for saying that John McCain doesn't understand torture the way he does, the way Rick Santorum does. We called his campaign fully expecting it to be faxed right over. We have not heard back from Mr. Santorum's campaign, but as far as we can tell, there has as yet been no apology. Again, for Rick Santorum saying that John McCain doesn't understand torture. Rick Santorum has not apologized for that, which I think is impossible. Gah.